Welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem without a calculator. So we have 5 to the power of 5 times 4 to the power of 7. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as 5 to the power of 5 times 4 to the power of 5 plus 2. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if we have a to the power of m plus n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So if we have 4 to the power of 5 plus 2, this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 5 times 4 to the power of 2. Because 5 in this case is m and 2 is n. And we're still multiplying this with 5 to the power of 5. Now another property of logarithms is that if we have a to the power of n times b to the power of n, this is equal to a times b in parentheses to the power of n. So right here we have 5 to the power of 5 times 4 to the power of 5 and 5 in this case is n and 5 and 4 are a and b respectively. So this can be converted to 5 times 4 to the power of 5 times 4 squared. Now 5 times 4 is 20. So now we have 20 to the power of 5 times 4 squared. Well, 4 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So we have 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So now we have 20 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now, if we have something, now this is actually another exponential property, but if we have a to the power of m to the power of n, so if we have a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4 because we're simply multiplying these two. And I'm going to rewrite 20 as 10 times 2. So we have 10 times 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 4. So now, remember, we're going to use this we're going to use this property, a to the power of n times b to the power of n equals a times b to the power of n. But we're simply reversing it. So we're going to convert this form back to this form. So a times b to the power of n, so 10 times 2 to the power of 5, this is the same thing as 10 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 5. And we're still multiplying this with 4. And now remember this property, when we're multiplying two exponents, we add our exponents. So 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 4, this is 2 to the power of 5 plus um, 2 to the power of 5 plus 4, which is 2 to the power of 9 times 10 to the power of 5. Now, 2 to the power of 9 is equal to 512. And 10 to the power of 5 is simply, when we're multiplying something with 10 to a specific power, we're simply adding that the exponent amount of zeros to that number. So we're going to add five zeros to 512. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this here is our answer to this problem.